Hello and welcome to Mickey Art and guess what we're doing? Yes, it is the week before Christmas and I am only just getting around to making decorations for my tree. Um, my children have been very uninterested in having Christmas decorations this year and since in the past I have only ever done Christmas decorations for my children, uh, it kind of hasn't happened and so uh, I, I bought these to paint for you guys and um it's time to do it and i'm gonna actually choose for me and have christmas decorations now as you can see this one's really shiny so was that one so i'm just rubbing it down with some uh what's it, what grit is this 600 grit paper just giving it a bit of scuff just so that the paint can actually have something to hold on to just a real rough scuff um just all over and then the wearable rag of a t-shirt that I always wear. There we go. Done. Wiped down and ready to go. Now, I'm going to do this a bit different to last year. I will put a link to last year's video at the end of this one. Um, so you guys can see how I did it last year. But this year I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm going to dip, it, dip them all in white paint and then pour from the top and give them something to slip on so let's get some paint into a vessel for them to pour from get some color in there let's go for some turquoise some silver the turquoise and the red have got silicon in them not a lot but there's silicon in them so I'm going to do a couple of layers of each of these colours just so that we've got the different colours hanging out together and plenty of paint for the four balls. Well, because they're already going to be um, pre-coated, they're not actually going to need that much colour to be honest. But hey... Why not? Let's just give them some colour. Get that out of the way. And a bit more gold. You can always sprinkle some more of other colours on later if you decide that it's not got enough colour. So there's our colour pot. And I'm going to use my normal, what do we call it? Um, negative space white and this is spring house paint from Bunnings here in New Zealand and you can get that in Australia as well and let's show you my setup I've got two four litre or just over a gallon bottles of Floetrol holding up a piece of stick <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to submerge these till they're covered just like that let it run off then I'm going to hang them so let me move these out of the way I'm going to hang them on the stick and they can keep dripping as I'm doing the others let me move that out of the way and make room for all four of them now the cool thing about using these copper bronze colors is I don't actually have a problem if all the paint runs off and they go back to being copper <laughs> I quite like them but you could do this to re, um, recycle old old ones if they're no longer the colour that you want to do your Christmas. I know that lots of people colour code their Christmas. It's never been something I've done in the past, but I know that lots of people do. So just... This is not a waste of paint, having this much all prepped up like this because as you can imagine I'm going to use 
what's left over of the white as negative space on something sometime soon. So let's dip one more. Just one more. It's just one more because I've only got one more. I've only got four. <laughs> There's always something you can prop up at two ends, like a um, a wooden spoon or anything to hang these from. So let's just move them along a bit so you guys can see all of them. And you'll see I've got some cardboard underneath for the paint to drip off to, onto. And... We'll see what we can do with that afterwards. Maybe make some cards for next year. Right, so that is the white used and done. We can put the lid on that. So that I, I sometimes have paint mixed up for two or three weeks. And as long as they're in an airtight container, um, this is an old prunes container, they are good to go. So, now what I had thought of doing is I can kind of spin these around and you know how when you <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work though I've never done it before you know how when you've got something hanging by a string and you spin it around and then you let it go and it spins that's kind of what I had in mind so let's see if it does that get something happening maybe we'll be a bit more controlled on this one okay funky Spunky and spunky. And as with any acrylic pouring, no two pours can ever be the same. So I'm just going to use up the rest of the tin. Putting blobs in places where nothing happened. Starting to see some cell action already, which is exciting. What I've found doing, I've done quite a bit of 3D work, and what I've noticed is that if you're planning on using your torch to get cells, then let it drain quite a bit. Let it drip and drain and flow. And that way it can get rid of its large movement before you ask it to make cells. 
what I've had happen when I've tried to get it when I've when I've used the torch too early is um, that it then does this really cool thing of having stripes now I don't know if you can see it but here we've got silicon that's taken us right the way down to the copper but that's okay I'm good with that I'm just scraping some more paint out of the pot and dripping it in the odd place. Right, I'm going to get you down and show you these before I torch them. They are funky with the gold and the silver and the blue and the red. I want to show you from another angle. Hold on. I wonder if I can get it. See, they're looking pretty cool. Let's go. No, I'm going to get you down. I'll get you down and show you. Let's do it that way. It's safer. Okay. So they're quite funky. That's where it's gone right down to the copper. There's a couple of spots actually in that top bit there. Oops, sorry. There, as well as this big bit here. It's okay. I'm good with that. Because look at the rest of it. It's so awesome. Let's have a look at the backs. On the window side. They're pretty. I like them. Oh, we've got some copper there again. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to put you back up on top. And oh, while we're here, let's have a look down. Drip, drip, dripping. Magical mystery tours. <laughs> All right. Let's pop you back up on top. And let's use the blue torch. Well, it's not really a blue torch. It's a creme brulee torch, isn't it? So, I'm going to try and keep my arm out of the shot for you. Yep, there's definitely cells. Cellular action, baby. See? Wow, check that one out. <laughs> Next. Hoping this angle of the tripod and selfie stick is going to work. And last but not least, They are looking good. Yum. Let's go around and 
have a look. Ooh, there's some pretty pieces in there. I think I can get some nice shots out of these for um, use in Mirror Lab. If you want to know what Mirror Lab is, I did a video on that, so you can check that out. My stick just about fell off my bottle. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. I do like them. Let's hope they're dry looking this pretty. Look at that. Yum. awesome I like it I like it a lot so there you are guys there is our um, what do you call them <laughs> decorations oh I think I need to stop using that aluminium deodorant again I got really good there for a while did you notice all right now what I'm really liking is what's happening down in this puddle down here. So let me grab a silicon, a, a, a silicon, cabochon, and oh, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna go over on that one. You might agree that's kind of funky so cabochons if you haven't come across this before i have videos on this but just really quickly they these are glass they uh, have a flat side on one side and a rounded side on, on the other and they have pendant trays that you can stick them into so a lot of people would let these this paint blob dry um, and then cut it out and stick it on and that's a whole lot of faffing about that I really can't be bothered doing to be honest and I would rather just capture it let it dry and glue it down baby glue it down so that's what we're going to do I'm going to go in and capture it just like that and so it's picked up exactly what was there how cool is that I like it I like it a lot um What else have we got in there? You know what? I'm going to go back to that one where I've dipped it and torch that and see if there's anything come up. Oh, I knew it! Yay! <laughs> right, it's going down in history, that one. Go on to a round one, I think. You can get all sorts of shapes and sizes and teardrops and rectangles and... If you're not going to buy them as sets, like the pendant tray and cabochon together I highly recommend you're very careful with your sizes yes you can buy them a lot cheaper but 100 cabochon look at that that's cool and make sure you get the right size for the right um oh we're off again oh it's 
so pretty. So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty gumdrops. Um, yeah, make sure you get the right sizes. It's just my piece of information for the day. Oh, look at that. Oh no! <laughs> I dropped it and it landed upside down in the next puddle. So we now have a pretty little mess in the next puddle, which looks a bit like a love heart. We might capture that. But our pendant is now two sided painted, which is not really going to work. So, easy dealt with, drop it in some water, wash it off, try again and get the love heart pendants ah. there she blows all right the only thing i don't like about the love hearts is Sometimes you put something on it and then you see something that you really like in the design and it's upside down. <laughs> At least with circles and squares and even ovals and rectangles to a point, you have a choice in which way that you put them into the pendant holder. Um, with the love hearts, they go in one way. Just like that. Mm. It's funky. It's fun and funky. I think I could probably keep going a million times, a million times, a million times on these. But the other thing I can do with them is now that the what's it's have started to is to make little pretty paintings by flooding the cardboard with the paint. And then you cut off that pieces to go onto a greeting card. Oh, that's pretty. Let me bring it up and show you. Look at that. So I'm going to let that dry out of the way of the dripping baubles. And let's see what we can create with the other one. This one's not quite got as much paint. Gonna bring some of that white down in there. Stretch it out. So we've got the right size for a card in each of those. So now I'm going to torch them. Mm. 
not quite as delicious but definitely cool so I'm gonna let those all dry we've got four baubles three pendants and enough for four cards worth of thing how does it get any better than that so let me find a space to put this down and I'll turn the camera off and I'll be back once this is all dry and um, show you how it's gone see you soon three two one all right so I'm gonna show you them on this side <laughs> hanging because uh, that's the way the light is best but I'm gonna get them down one at a time and show them to you so just bear with me while I do that all right so that one's got lots of beautiful gold stripes a couple of big patches of white but nothing too terrible I like that so this guys is um what I was meaning by if you let it drip long enough your cells will hold their shape so when I these have held their shapes beautifully I'm very pleased with that um, number two so we've got some right the way down to the base I should have actually kept some sort of track I wonder if the ones that went that didn't that went through to the base like that I wonder whether they were the matte finish or the shiny finish that I sanded but they look cool look at that it's even got a nice pretty cell row <laughs> and again the cells have held pretty much I'm very pleased with that these are pretty 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 and you've still got time to do them um, I mean it's summer here it's really warm these have baked quite nicely in this <laughs> this heat but we're literally 24 hours later and I have got something I could hang on the Christmas tree so if you don't have any Christmas decorations yet then grab some old baubles and upcycle them there you go all right so while we're looking at things close up let's have a look at those pendants here's the oval one that is pretty I like it then we've got the heart shaped one that kind of held the heart shape look thing going on somebody will like that one and then we've just got a round one with some cool funky cells those are very cool so I'm pleased with those and I'm gonna turn the camera around and down because these are cool too I am pleased with this whole thing they are all super cool let me see if I can I put these onto freezer paper so they just peel off especially if they dry properly <laughs> which that one wasn't but there's going to be a couple of very cool looking cards come out of that and this one's not quite so cool it's got some interesting bits in it I really like that piece there but then that kind of looks like my favorite color which is burgundy so there we have it guys we have that almost looks like a fairy um, we have cards we have baubles and we have pendants how does it get any better than that and what else is possible 
What else can we create? How much more fun can we have? How much more fun can you have? I adore you all. I'm super grateful for you for watching and joining me. If you've done some upcycling, especially of old Christmas decorations, then jump over to the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group and pop um, your photos into the event page. We've still got a few more days of the month. And December's challenge is to upcycle. So go ahead and pop your upcycled creations in to there. That would be very cool. Look forward to seeing all the things that you've been creating and having you join me in future videos. Um, and what else is possible? I adore you all. Bye-bye.